All right, so I wanna give you guys just a quick formula on how to make a simple shampoo and then a, for lack of a better word, advanced shampoo. Make sure you have a digital scale, make sure your equipment is clean and sanitized, and let's get into it. We're gonna be making this simple shampoo formula first, and I'm starting with the distilled water. Then I'm gonna add in the thickener and the ingredient that's going to do a little, little bit of conditioning for the hair. This ingredient is called Garacat. This is one of my favorite thickeners to use for shampoos specifically. But it does work great for body washes as well. The only thing is that I recommend adding it into distilled water before you add any other ingredient because I recommend dissolving it at around a pH of seven because it won't thicken yet. It doesn't thicken until you lower the pH, but if you add it straight into a product with a pH below seven, it might chunk up. Mix it until it's dissolved. Then I'm gonna add in the glycerin. This is a humectant, it will help hydrate the hair. Then I'm gonna add in the preservative Liquidermal Plus. And then for the bubbly surfactant ingredient that is gonna be cleansing the hair and going to create lather, the ingredient is AOS 40. This is the main ingredient that is gonna help with that. And then I'm also gonna use cocomidopropyl betaine to assist in creating bigger bubbles that last longer, and then decoglucoside to make everything more mild and to make it just a better shampoo. If you wanna learn more about surfactants, I do have a video that talks about that. But the next thing I want you to do is check and adjust the pH. Hair is pH sensitive. You do want a pH around 4.5 and 5.5 probably too. Typically the hair is a bit more acidic than the skin, but as long as it's below six, you should be good. Definitely recommend keeping it below six because it will perform better as a shampoo. And if you wanna learn how to check and adjust pH, it's pretty simple. Once you learn how to do it, I have a video all about that. So I'm going to bottle this up and I'm gonna let it, it sit overnight because as of now, this is not clear, but it will clear up and we'll check on it tomorrow. But first let's make the advanced shampoo. All right, for this one, you also need to make sure you have a sanitized container and your digital scale. And again, I'm starting out with the distilled water. Then I'm gonna add in DL Panthenol, just to step this up a bit, just to make it a little bit more advanced. This isn't harder to make, but I have more ingredients in it. That's why I call it advanced. I'm using this ingredient, DL Panthenol. It's a vitamin, it's great for the hair and skin, moisturizes, it hydrates, and I mix that until it's dissolved. This won't adjust the pH at all of the water. So then I went ahead and added in the Garacat. This is the thickener and it will also condition the hair just a little bit. Then I'm adding in the glycerin, which like I said before is a humectant and then the preservative. You do not want to skip this. If you want more information on preservatives, how you can choose the perfect one for you. I do have videos on those topics. Then since this is more advanced, like I said, I wanna add in a hydrolyzed protein. There's all kinds of different ones, but my hair specifically loves hydrolyzed wheat protein. So I'm gonna add that in. And this does have a dark pigment to it. So keep that in mind, this will affect the final color of your shampoo. Then I'm gonna add in vegan keratin. Keratin is the protein your hair is made up of. So the goal is this ingredient will make your hair stronger. So I added a bit of that in, and then I wanted to add in another conditioning ingredient just to make this a bit of more of a conditioning shampoo. There is a polyquaternium seven you could use. This is considered natural, but there's also this ingredient called honey quats and I have a whole bunch of it. So I'm gonna add that in. Then for the surfactants, that's gonna make this lather and cleanse the hair. I'm using the same ones as the simple shampoo. I'm using AOS 40 cocomidopropyl betaine, and decoglucoside. Now to step up this shampoo, I'm gonna add in glycerol oleate. I talked all about this in yesterday's video. This just makes any foaming surfactant product more gentle, more mild, 
and it just performs better. But we don't have time to talk all about that right now. So let's go ahead and add in the fragrance oil, mix that in, check and adjust the pH because like I said before, that's super, super important. And then we can bottle it up. So I want to let these sit until the next day to show you guys how much they change just overnight. So here we are the next day and this is the simplified one. As you can tell, it's completely clear and let's check the viscosity. It's got a gorgeous viscosity to it. I think that's perfect for shampoos. Of course, you can always adjust the Gara Cat to change the viscosity. Then here's the advanced one. This one isn't clear, and this is obviously due to like the keratin we added in, the hydrolyzed proteins. Now, something you can consider is adding in less, and that could prevent this yellowish color from coming through. But sometimes this is just... You know, if you want to add those ingredients that have a dark color to it, this is just something you can't avoid, but you can seek out specifically clear ingredients if you do want a clear effect. But here is the viscosity for this one. It does seem maybe a little bit thicker, or maybe that's just because there's more in the bottle, but the viscosity is gorgeous in my opinion. And I personally don't mind this color. I know a lot of people seek after clear solutions, but that's just something you need to keep in mind. If your ingredient is dark, it's going to make the product look dark. Now this would be clear. Well, maybe because this one has fragrance, so it's hard to say, but it does look like it would be clear because I can see the, the tube a little bit on the bottom if it wasn't so yellow. Overall, both of these turned out great, but I think this would make also a really good not necessarily a clarifying shampoo, but if you just want a little bit of a basic shampoo. So I've only been able to use this shampoo once since I just made it. But what I did is I used the simple one first and then I double cleansed my hair with the more advanced one because I always wash my hair twice whenever I go to actually wash it because I only wash my hair like every few days. So I always have a buildup of dry shampoo. So I like to wash it first to get out the buildup of all the product. And then after that, I will wash it again. And that second wash really gets my scalp clean. So I actually do like the system of using a simple shampoo first that doesn't have like expensive ingredients in it to get that buildup gone. And then use the more advanced shampoo with the more expensive ingredients that is actually going to kind of get access to my scalp better once all that buildup is gone. Yeah, I like this system. I like this idea. That's all for today. Let me know if you guys want to see more content on shampoos and I will see you guys tomorrow. Also, don't forget to go over and check out my Patreon where I post two exclusive videos every single month. So there is a ton of videos you can go over and binge watch for only $5 a month. Also, if you don't have access to Patreon in your country, you can sign up as a YouTube member instead. If you sign up for the $10 tier on my Patreon, you get a shout out for your small business. I'll have all these brands linked below. Naturesmagicllc.com from Dusk Soapery on Etsy, LloydCandleCompany.com, HB Royal Retreat Store on Etsy, Nature'sFarmGirl.com, Let's Blend LLC, at Stardust Bath and Body, HempyGirl.com, ShopLevi's.com, Owl and Lily over on Etsy, Skin Lounge Co. over on Etsy, BlackPetalBeauty.com, EmbraceBeautyEssentials.com, legendarybathandbody.com, astariapothecary.com, Raviga Cosmetics here on YouTube, exorebb.com, pardonaturals.com, naturalstateskin.com, thenatureinus.ca, nearcatalier.com, use the code on the screen for 20% off, earthandambernaturals.com, sharkcitynaturals.com, daytorelaxproducts.com, crownedglowerylc.com, lhscentedsoapsandmore.com, janaerose.com, healthnutbeauty on Etsy, velvettemptations.com, journeyrosebeauty.com, chrbrands.com, Homestead Life Goods on Etsy, CanellaBathAndBody.com, MadhouseMamaSoaps.com, Xpo.com, 
Mystical Morning on Etsy, Seventh House and Oak on Etsy, and MyCrownAndGlory.com. Thank you so much for you guys' support. Without you guys over on Patreon, I wouldn't be able to do what I do. So thank you so much. Thank you.